Hey guys, I'm Laura Sanchez and in this video we're gonna open some boxes that I got on the mail and we're gonna try on the product, so keep watching! Okay, so we're gonna start without makeup because I wanna try all the products that I open to see how it works in this beautiful skin. So because I know I'm gonna start with my foundation and I need some foundation, I'm gonna show you guys the first uh, products that I opened up and these are from Makeup Forever and they send me their new foundations and the formula or the name of the foundation it's water blend so this is what they look like they're very cute they're made of like it feels like glass but i don't know if it's glass or plastic they sent me three different colors so you can see here this one is more um it has like more pink undertones this one is more yellowish the one here and this one is like neutral it's like in between these two so, as you know, I'm very yellow, so I think I'm going to try this one and then I'm going to try to highlight a little more using the neutral one. So I'm going to start hydrating my skin first. I'm using, again, this um, Milk Makeup Hydrating Oil. It comes like in a, almost like a stick and you just turn it around and it comes up. It's really good. I love it. I stopped using it for a month because I, I like to try always new products. But I always come back to this one. My skin is very dry, so I try to moisturize it a lot before I apply any type of foundation or concealers. So this is why it looks so oily and shiny. And I just with my fingers, of course they have to be very clean. I'm just gonna like blend it all over. So I'm just gonna apply it with this beauty blender that looks very, very pink. And I have it like down with water so it doesn't absorb all the foundation that I put on. So I'm just going to change the application. I'm going to try it with a brush because I felt like it was not doing anything. Mm, and it does look like really nice on the skin because it looks very natural and it's very light and I feel like I'm just putting water in my face. It's super super light but I love uh, foundations with a lot of coverage so I am not digging this one. So with the, with the brush it didn't work at all like I cannot even blend it but you know beauty blenders can blend everything you want and that's okay because it doesn't even say in the bottle that it's like a high coverage or full coverage foundation so it's okay but it wouldn't be like a product that I will buy I want to say buy again I didn't buy it but yeah you know what I mean like I, I will never purchase it on my own Okay, so I didn't like the foundation that much. I feel like I need more coverage and I like more coverage when I do my makeup. I actually want to know that I have makeup on and not just like if I wanted to look more natural or we use just a BB cream. Anyways, and this is another product that they sent me. This is the Excessive Lash. Let me see how it looks inside. Ooh, well, it's a mascara and I love mascaras when they have small ones because my eyes are small and if I use like really fat ones I feel like they do give me volume but I will get it just like all over all over like in my nose everywhere so I think this is more convenient for people that have smaller eyes or shorter lashes so I'm gonna try this when I'm done with my eyes so I can put this mascara on I really like Makeup Forever, I think it's an amazing brand and I never tried a product that I don't like but these foundations, it's not that I don't like them, it's just I want more, more coverage. So going back um, into the video, no, into the face products, I'm going to open this other box that I got from Cover FX. I heard so many good things about these products, about the, the brand Cover FX, but I never tried anything before of this brand. So let's see how it works. I don't even know how it works. So this is how it looks on the inside. They're supposed to be like highlighters and bronzers, but they're, they're like in a liquid uh, formula, almost like a, like a concealer or like a foundation. There are drops and you're supposed to put it 
on your foundation like in your foundation and mix it or you can also apply it before your foundation or even on your foundation the the good thing about this props is that you can customize whatever you want if you want to add it into your foundation to make it look more dewy and bright if you want to put it on top of your foundation almost like a cream highlighter or you can put it under your foundation to give like an under glow to your skin i don't know if you guys understand that <laughs> so this one right here it's called candlelight and it's very bronzy almost gold like rose gold so pretty this next color is called celestial oh and i like this one a lot it's more like silvery gold i mean silvery pinkish i don't know look at it it's so bright and shiny next color is moonlight this one is very pretty this is the i already told you guys this is the moonlight and i think i like this one a lot better this is like a it looks like the highlighter from becca the champagne pop i like it other color is sunlight and this one is very bronzy as well this one is called sunset and this one is i think it's the darkest one it's very dark wait but this one is actually matte I guess this one is just like to add contour or something, but it's matte. You see it? It's the last one down there. And the next one, the last one, is Sun Kissed. And this is another very pretty color. And it's matte as well. So I will say all the ones in the top that I tried are actually highlighters and a bronzer, like a more bronzy highlighter. And these guys down here, I, I think they're matte. I can even side like they're still wet so i don't know but i think those are more to give like more um warm to the face like make it more dark we'll see so this is how i'm gonna use it so this is the plan i'm gonna use this beauty blender that i just dab with water and this is the foundation that i'm gonna use this is um stick foundation by maroon in the color i think it's all like olive so what I did here is I applied the sunset color like if I was going to do a contour thing. And now I'm going to go with the highlighter color that I like that is Moonlight. And we're going to put it in the brush again. And I'm just going to apply it on the points that I want to highlight on my face. So just a little here, here. So what I'm doing now is I'm just applying a tiny bit of my foundation, the one that I just chose, and I apply it to different parts of my face, just random, and now I'm going to start blending with my beauty blender. What this is going to do is that the colors and the highlights that are under the foundation are going to like show through a little. So it's going to look more natural than if I was doing the contour and the highlight on top of my foundation. So I don't know if you can see that well guys, but you see the highlight and the contour is like under the foundation so it makes it look more natural. And believe me, like I don't mind going crazy with contour and highlight on top of everything. But this is just something that I wanted to show you. Maybe if you are um, one of the girls that like to like their makeup to look more natural, you can do this. So this is how the little drops work. They I love them, like I really like them. And I knew I was going to like them because I saw so many reviews, so many different reviews. And everyone was saying great things about them. And I love every product that you can actually like customize it and make your own thing with it. So this is perfect. Now we're going to open the next box and this is a boxy chart. This is one of those subscription boxes that uh, you get monthly and I've been subscribed to this box for a while now. What happened with this box is, is like not every month you're gonna get something that you love but I still keep it because I get so I have get like so many good things out of this box. Yeah so this is one of the things that I wanted to show you guys that comes in this box is the blush and bronzer mini palette and brush combo from Coastal Scents. I remember this brand has been around forever. So it comes with a tiny little brush. It's so cute. Inside we have 
one matte highlighter, like a light powder, one matte contour, matte blush, and then a blush with little sparkles and a highlighter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to set this makeup or this foundation using these products. Let's see how it goes. So I'm going to go with the lightest color first, the matte powder, and I'm going to apply it to the parts of my face that I want to highlight. So this is not only gonna, gonna help me to highlight my face, but it's also gonna help me to set the makeup. Now I'm gonna seal the contour, and I'm just applying the matte one, like right under my cheekbones. So I just apply the blush as well, and it's a little harsh. So I'm just gonna blend it with the Beauty Blender. That's not, that's not the makeup fault, it's my, my fault. Blends a little better. So I'm going to show you guys very quick what's in this box and the first thing is this mascara from Do Dose? Dolce? I don't know, I can't even read the name. Dolce, I think. And this, this brush is not super fast so that's good and I like that the little hairs are like very separate because I feel it's going to give me like a more separate eyelash look. We also have here Aloe Pure Skincare and it's a Time Repair Serum. Ooh, I'm gonna try it tonight when I take off my makeup. And then I have something from Beauty For Real and it's called, well, it is a shadow stick. So, this is very interesting. Look, they sent me like a cute, um, like a cute bag to go to the beach or to go shopping. Very pretty. And there's a box inside. And it says, beat the summer heat with lips and eyes that last. So we have here four liquid eyeliners. We have, uh, they're called Stay Put Matte. This is a brown. I also have a blue one. Green. And black. And they send me a lot of their lipsticks that I actually have some already and they're amazing. So these are the colors that they sent me. I have some of the metallic ones oh wait i think they're all metallic actually so i have like a cherry metallic like a violet copper rose gold wine coral pink hot pink dark brick <laughs> like a brick color i don't know dark red and violet dark but no this is purple i think so I'm just gonna keep these products here on my table and I'm gonna open the next boxes. They're from Colourpop. So let's just see what's in here. Ooh, I always love their boxes, they're so cute. So I got a bunch of their ultra metallic lip colors. I see like metallics are trending right now. So the first one is called Filter. So this is so pretty. So it's like basically a like a baby pink color, but it has like holographic sparkles on it so pretty this is called salt it is also beautiful this is more like a beigey metallic color oh my god this is like a pearl liquid lipstick the next one is called lights out and i saw that movie and i couldn't sleep for like a week but this is more gold this is way more gold than the one that i told you guys that it was gold <laughs> it's this one I guess this collection is like just like nude, like nude metallics. This is the this is the like the goldest one. This is actually copper. So pretty. And the next color is called Mugshot. And I have one more box from ColourPop. So these here are highlighters, you guys. So this is Super Shock. I don't know if I show you guys this one. It's just I'm recording in English and Spanish at the same time, and I don't remember if I said it in English or Spanish. This one right here, just in case, is called Do Not Disturb, and it's a nice gold highlighter. The next one is this one, and it's called Might Be. This is so pretty. Might Be is like very pink, and I love it. So this next color is called Flexitarian. And it's like the most, like the iciest one. 
Look at that, it's so bright and shiny. And the last one is called Candyman and it's, it's like more brownish or gold. Look at it, it's the one in the top. So pretty. So now that I'm done opening everything, let's finish this makeup. So because I didn't get any eyeshadows, I only got this one, this stick eyeshadow, I'm gonna use it. I'm just gonna go all over my eyelid. So basically I'm just applying it all over my eyelid. And with the finger, I'm just gonna try to blend the edges. So it doesn't look so patchy. This is good. Looks very simple, but I'm just gonna go over it. Um, like very close to my lash line, just to make it more colorful. So with this brush, I'm just gonna blend a little more the edges, and I just apply some of the matte bronze that I apply to my face. Let's try now the mascara, the Makeup Forever mascara, and this is the Excessive Lash. I really like this mascara. Let's go to the lips and I want really, 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 really want to try this color. Glitter by Colourpop. And... <sighs> so I really like the color, like I love it, I'm obsessed. But my lips are very dry right now because I haven't been drinking enough water. And because it's metallic, kind of like a accentuates whatever is dry on my lips. So I'm just gonna remove it and try another color. So I'm just gonna try the Raving Color by Milani. I don't know if it's gonna work because it's also metallic. But at least it's dark, so let's see. So this one looks a little better. I think it's because it's dark, so it doesn't like accentuate more the dry parts of my lips. But I really like it. Okay, so this is everything. We opened all the boxes that I had to open today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And give me a thumbs up in this video down there. I'll see you next time. Bye!